What is going on, guys? Wiser here, coming to you with the recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, this was an arranged matchup against Emphatic Elite. Yes, the EE -E clan. Uh, love these guys. We've matched them up plenty, plenty of times, and it is always an epic war every time. Um, you know, love matching these folks. So let's just jump on over. We're going to check out these details really quick. We've got a few things I want to go over. Uh, 107, 103 was a victory for uh, 2.0. Uh, in the end, Kind of the breakdown of the details, I would say, um, EE did send a handful of early TH9 scouts and then ended up having to bully. Um, I don't know, again, sometimes those bullies are planned um, or you get yourself in an instance where a base may have been attacked a few times and you just plan to bully it and use the TH, that next TH9 hit that wouldn't attack that base. Um, on a scout or something like that just to clear it. I don't know what the full case was, but I know in fact we ended up using five bully attacks overall um, on our Town Hall 9. So that was really good. Uh, good victory for our Town Hall 9s. I believe whose base was it? Let's go ahead and jump in, check out these war details. 28 three stars to 24. Um, overall, uh, really nice job though by both sides. Average destruction 89.95 for uh, 2.0 versus an 87.8. Um, so let's just check, I think, this out real quickly. Um, all right, so yeah, definitely number 10 did two bullies. So there's two right there. I believe 14 did one on Captain Sparrow. So there's three, and then they're very bottom there, um, their newest Town Hall 10 uh, did two bullies as well. So five bullies all day for them. Again, I'm not sure if they were planned, uh, but at, you know when you set up early scouts like that, if it wasn't your plan, that kind of hurts you in the long run. You do thin out your Town Hall 10 versus 10 attempts. Uh, overall, you know, fun more though. Uh, fantastic, thank you, EE. -E. Let's jump on over to the other side and get right into things here because I got quite a few replays I want to show. Although there weren't, uh, let me take a sip here. Hmm. That is delicious. I got all these samples of um, chocolate, what is this? Chocolate Cherry Baileys. Got a whole bunch of samples. I put it in my coffee. It is, it is sex, I tell you. Anyhow, back to the, uh, back to the poor and add here. Um, as you can see, we didn't have a, a, a great, I don't want to say great. We did have a great war. Um, we left some stars on the board that we didn't like leaving on the board in the end. Definitely that number one. We really did want that other star. Some really good successes that we had were right here, um, especially these first three. These top three Town Hall 10s, we just immediately out of the gate plan to take care of them with our 11s and fresh hit three star all three of them. Then all the way down here, all those are all bullies. Um, they only took two hits uh, each, though, so that is really nice as well. So we were able to clear that top half. Fortunately, we weren't able to get any 10v10 actions. Really close ones. Look at Jamie, 96%. That is a heartbreaker there. So overall, 2.0, fantastic war. Really good job. Uh, let's see some replays. So I'm going to start this off um, up at the top, which is sort of different from what I usually do. Um, basically, because there's no triples, I'm going to show a few things that people want to see. First of all, Nina had two really nice two stars on their town hall 11s when your tens can step up and do that especially getting 70 percent um they are setting the team up for success absolutely and we're going to watch nina do this on their number four a lot of times i'm seeing and i'm finding now as i'm doing it more and more because i'm playing my town hall 10 more and more is five healers against the town hall 11 is usually a must uh, even though the 40 queen, you know, you never know if a mine, you know, if you only bring four healers and it hits mine, she's toast, right? You absolutely, I think almost in all cases need that fifth either. So Nina uh, goes ahead, creates that funnel, gets that race spell going down just in time. Queen gets pretty low there, but she's going to be okay. It's going to continue walking around here. And nine Valks he's got with four more baby drags. So the baby drags just kind of pokes some percentage around the base. And then you see the way these compartments are set up. I love the read by Nina here. Just knows if you can if you can get the Valks going in right on this tip, and there's no buildings right here. They're just going to essentially follow almost in a circle, or at least up to this section of base, and get really good value because um, the only one Inferno Tower is ever going to be in a range. You're going to get the Queen out of the deal. Town Hall is right there, so it just makes sense, right? Oh, the wall goes open. Baby drags are down. That funnel is now created. It's going to go ahead and drop. All those Valkyries now with the king. Here it comes. 
Kablam, kablam, kablam. And just like I said, even though that eagle targets from that king right away, look at the Valks get ahead. Dodge all the damage here, too. That's kind of nice. Bam, bam, bam. Nice free spell on that Inferno and Tesla and Expo. Even though that clan castle is in there, uh, standing under. Uh, doesn't quite have the poison down, but the balloon goes down to that queen. But you can see what I mean. Like the test, uh, the town hall is taken care of. We're at forty-eight percent already. Nina is just rocked into this base with a bunch of Valks. Uh, queen and king are still standing in there doing work with healers. They're targeting that eagle now and that other air defense. <clears throat> just beautiful hits. That king ability is going to get more percentage here. Even that eagle is going to go down in one sec. Of course, he does nail that baby drag just in time. But Queen, uh, the King now pitters out, and Queen is just going to finish off a few more buildings down here, get a few more percentage points. But as you can see, the job here is done. Nice two-star, my friend. I say Nina, but it's actually Dennis. For some reason, Dennis chose a girl's name, but that's that's not us to judge. <laughs> you know I love you, Dennis. Um, <laughs> moving on. So I just wanted to show... Um, I don't like, I, I don't show many bullies, but I mean, but right now with the way the game has sort of changed, been getting a lot of requests for um, for stuff like this. This is DI going in on their top town all 10. So um, bringing a Lalo, I thought this was really, uh, really just aggressive and creative. Um, it's easy at town all 11, I think, to get very, uh, very blindsided or sorry, um, near, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm saying like it, it, Town Hall 10 is or 11 is so easy to just kind of succumb to to those mass style attacks, right? Because that's just what has been predominant for so long. Um, so seeing guys bring these Town Hall 11 uh, Lalos is just absolutely awesome, I think. Uh, Diego goes ahead, gets that first air defense down. Going to go ahead, poison that CC, get that heal spell down. King's going to work through all that stuff. The bowler's in there helping out. Nice little Grand Warden ability to keep everything alive while he works through those Clan Castle troops. Now, both heroes are dead. Clan Castle is dead. Two air defense now are down. So DI goes ahead and commences the air portion. A couple uh, hounds are now in on this first uh, air defense. Nice little spread on the balloons. Few on every single defense on the outside. A couple haste spells going around. Just going to toss everything right on top of the air defense and the Inferno Tower. And look at that freeze too. Tesla's the Wiz Tower and Inferno Tower all go down. Well, the balloons are right on top of them. I guess sorry, it doesn't quite get the wizard tower and stuff right away, but down it goes. Going to take care of that Tesla. A couple more defenses remain. He's got the queen hanging on by a thread over there. Um, and one Inferno Tower to go. These balloons do die right here. Uh, but look at all these pups. These pups sort of collect over on this side of the map. Well, the queen steps up there, hits that ability, finishes off the Inferno Tower. Down goes the storages, and then down goes this cannon. Nothing left of this base. DI smashes it with his Lalo. I love it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is chocolate cherry goodness. Let's move on down a bit. So we did have another awesome job by our number 40, very bottom of the map, Mick Grady with his lower level heroes, 22, 25, going in, snaking the two-star here on this base for us. Um, just sort of securing that too while our 10s can kind of get some triple attempts in. And it's really nice, uh, especially when a town online, our very bottom town online uh, nonetheless, comes in and does something like this. So just going to give us a times two while his queen almost dies. Down she goes, almost. <laughs> but down goes the rage and keeps her going. So she's done her job. She's created that whole side of the funnel. Uh, wall is now open. Vox are now in and the bowlers come in from behind. Doesn't get that army camp down. I think you really would have liked to get that because then all the bowlers would have went in there, but no big deal. His so queen finally goes down up top there. So I'm still in times four, but it just uses the same idea. The baby drags around the base, getting that percentage already at 53%, two star, just absolutely just walked into this base and secured that for us. Grady, nice job, buddy. Really, wait, what is going on right now? <laughs> Why didn't the replay end? All right, beautiful. So enough of that stuff. Let's just uh, rock out some Town Hall 9 trips and call it a day. So what did I want to start right here? 22, Mike O. Going in with a Lalo, the stoned Lalo. I like this one because he recognizes this uh, sort of 
boxy uh, core that is very um, symmetrical in the core. So he's just sort of going to abuse that, get a little percentage around the base, starts his funnel over here, a few golems go in, immediately gets the wizards down, another golem in, a few more wizards are going to back that up, get that funnel, all created on this whole 12 to 3 section of base. So jump spell is about to go down. And the sad part about this base is that's that's no good. Like this is almost like fundamental rule number one here. Queen's right here, right? She's obviously gonna jump into all these compartments, which will be fine if you plan for it, but I don't this one jump allowing you just right in here, I think it was absolutely fatal for this base build. But um, as you can see, Mike O absolutely recognizes that. Rate spell goes down, bowlers are smashing through everything there. Mm -hmm. And look at the value, like absolute insane value is about to get a third air defense once that uh, once the queen cleans up these pups. Bowlers get in there, sorry, get that third air defense. They're about to get a fourth air defense. I believe the queen ends up finally, no, the bowlers get it. <laughs> look at the queen just mopping up the pups. No air defense remains. So it just goes ahead and starts sprinkling balloons in on all the other defenses here. Keeps the, uh, I probably would have dropped the hounds. No, maybe you're you're good on that. Hound, hound on this mortar up here once all the balloons get over there, right? It's going to tank the uh, wizard tower and both of those archer towers. There it goes, right there. Go ahead and get those few last balloons in. Save a couple for cleanup. Nice patience on that, buddy. Just absolutely wrecked this base. Mike, oh, there's a hut. Oh, we got that. Yep. Boom. Swag haste. Sexy. All right, moving on. Number 23, DH. I'm going in here. Um, brings the uh, two P.E.K.K.A.s. That's what I liked about this one. I saw a few guys using the uh, sort of P.E.K.K.A. smash technique. This queen dropped, immediately drops a baby D to sort of take out that thick... Uh, Gold storage over there while the queen works her way into this area. It takes out a lot of this base. <clears throat> I'm trying to remember. I kind of... This was an attack I watched quite a while ago. <laughs> but um, I believe the P.E.K.K.A.s are going to be going in around the queen chamber. Because I'm not 100% what he decides. Yeah, there goes that golem. I think the uh, P.E.K.K.A. is going to follow here. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, Queen's going to make her way up and join up with things here in a minute as well. In goes that King. In go the Pekkas. They're going to just stomp through that stuff in a couple smashes and a CC full of bowlers. And they all sort of meet up there. The Golem's just standing on that wall doing a tanking. But no big deal. In come the few wall breakers are going to open things up. That one jump spell he's got is going to just unlock basically a big section of this base. Let him right into that Queen Chamber. And ba bam there goes that jump spell. King's going to lock on. Bowler's lock on. Down goes that defensive king. Or queen, my bad. <clears throat> Bunch of pups burst out there, unfortunately. But it doesn't matter. Queen's going to walk through and mop all of those up. King is working through the base. The Pekkas are still going, right? Uh, really nice choice. I mean, the Pekkas have barely been touched. Is that one almost dead, actually, as I say that? Yeah, sorry. Um, only one of them goes down, but this one, I believe, lasts to the end of the raid. Getting really good value out of that. Sprinkling some baby drags sort of on the outside. There's only one air defense to go. Queen is in there unprotected, unfortunately, but there's not a lot that's going to really bother her. Air defense goes down, so the baby drags are going to work through this base. No problem whatsoever. Still has that queen ability. I believe he ends up burning on the wall once this cannon goes down. Yep, there it goes. <clears throat> and as you can see, it's inevitable. Troops are a little stuck up on some walls and stuff right now, but absolutely tree stars in the bag here. Boom. Drop DH. Uh, 25. Limey. Bringing a bowl aloe. Just very standard here. It's going to go ahead and get those golems down right away. Start trying to create that nice wide funnel while the golems are pathing on over to the... For, uh, the one golem actually doesn't go to the mortar. stands on the wall here. But um, just gets that nice, nice funnel going. Unfortunately, that Tesla pops gives them a little bit of hell there. But no big deal. 
Uh, queen goes down, king goes down. We're going to go ahead and open up this wall here and let everything into like a really big location of the base because it allows you access to this whole section. And then this jump it almost allows you to like the rest of the base basically at this point. Um, rate spell is down. Bowlers are smashing everything down. Getting good value. Taking care of that Tesla farm. Just absolutely good, good value here. King locks on that defensive queen. Nice poison there too to slow things right down. Nothing's gonna take. Nothing's gonna touch that uh, that stuff in there. King is gonna burst through that wall here in one moment. Bowlers move up and he goes ahead and commences with the air portion of his attack. Um, immediately takes two marks to the face for that live hound, but that's perfect, right? Because there's not much left of this base. He does really need these hounds uh, to burst. Needs those puffs to help with cleanup because his uh, both his heroes are now dead. So there goes that first hound. There goes that second hound. Forcing does not have any spells, but there's just uh, buys just enough time for all this huge, huge clump of balloons to pull on over. Sorry, his queen is not dead. My bad. I meant I, his king ended up dying in the core. His queen sort of walking around the outside doing cleanup, but absolutely just crushed this base. Look, look at all these, uh, all the balloons that are remaining here. Down goes the sweeper, and we're heading on over to the archer tower and that Tesla. I think this one. Love how the queen walked right by that Tesla as well. But as you can see, absolutely here going to be tree in the bag. Limey crushing it with the bowl aloes. Lime's my Friendly challenge, arch nemesis. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before, but we go at it all day long. These loons smash it. Tree in the bag. Beautiful. Job line. Uh, all right, I got a few more here. I want to rock out, and then I'm gonna call it a night. Derpadoo. Bringing just a stone go hobo. So three golems, just getting good spread. Saving the one golem for I believe when he opens the wall here. Just gets the first two down so you can get that nice, nice big spread and the big funnel created. He's gonna go ahead and open up the section of wall here at twelve. Heroes in, bowlers in, standard issue. <clears throat> a couple poisons are about to go down. I'll take care of this clan castle. There it goes. Believe is going to drop a rage and down it goes. And then follow it up. Oh, I think he's actually saving the heal for the hawks. Very smart. Um, smashes through the wall there though very quickly. And then he has the jump now to get to the queen. Oh, no, he double jumped. Jesus Christ. I got to pay attention. <laughs> oh my God. I just watched like 15 attacks in a row. You know what? I do want to <laughs> make a mention. Rushing, having to rush these recaps because of the fact that they're friendly clan challenges and the replays only last for 24 hours. I, I'm not kidding, guys. Like, I got to rush these in. And that sucks. It sucks for me and that sucks for you. Um, is what it is. I'm sort of advocating to try and uh, try and get that extended. It'd be really nice if we get a 48-hour clan challenge replay lifetime, or that would be a lifesaver for me. So, um, but I guess we shall see. Hopefully, we're getting an update uh, for Christmas reasonably soon. Um, because I'm really, really hoping they do a little bit of balancing work as well. I'm really frustrated. I mentioned this as well. I know a lot of guys are really frustrated at Town Hall 10. Um, I see these guys work at it so hard with such little reward. And it sucks. It really does. It must be so disheartening and so difficult to not just hit that upgrade button and go to Town Hall 11. Not that it's necessarily any better up there at all. But anyhow, um, I'll finish things off with this. This is Clutchy Boy stepping up to 2.0, uh, helping us fill some uh, some roster weight there with this nice 40 man uh, 40 man uh, friendly we were able to do with EE -E. again once again EE -E, thank you it's always a pleasure matching you guys. Clutch is bringing this new baby D <laughs> comp. I remember he sent me this sketch, and I didn't fully understand it, um, but his goal was to get all four of these air defense with this little queen charge and uses a few baby D's to, to get a nice wide funnel. So the queen really only has one place to go. I believe he even drops the king um, and a few couple wizards over here to start starting getting the funnel going this way. Um, and he's going to go ahead and EQ almost has a wall break fail. Kind of saves it right there. So absolutely good recovery on that one. 
Down goes the earthquake, opening up this huge, huge section of core. Queen's going to step up, take care of expo number one. Is going to go ahead and step up and take care of expo number two. Drops a CC of bowlers actually with the defensive king or the offensive king there. King's just going to do some tanking for those bowlers. Will the bowlers create that nice wide funnel? Queen hits that ability, takes care of the clan castle troops, and down they go. And is going to step up now and be super safe and basically have her way with the rest of this core of the base. And he's just clutches just being super patient, all on the outside, just dropping baby drag one at a time. It's kind of taking out the buildings, just slow, just very slow and patient and just reading the base as it falls. That's the best way I can describe how to do this attack. Um, you kind of plan for what you, what you want to do, but you don't know exactly the route necessarily, the exactly what's going to happen. So you got to kind of play these ones by ear, right? Like hanging on those five baby Ds, waiting for this air defense to go down, waiting for the queen to step up and take care of this stuff. And then, you know, sending in the last few, sending in the couple wizards, just being super patient on this one. Down goes the last air D, drop the rest of those baby Ds. Base does not stand a chance. Oh, don't forget, Clutch, you still got a rage, buddy. There it is. <laughs> Sexy. Very nice hit, buddy. Tree in the bag. All right, so thank you, EE. -E. Always a pleasure. Uh, fantastic War. Love these ones. Please, hashtag extend Clan Challenge. Replay Lifetime. I love it. I love it so much because, honestly, um, it's just tough, like especially because the way my work schedule works, the war ends Sunday night. I'm usually working till a, late in the evening, Sunday night. So if I don't do it right then, I have to, I, I work, sorry, I work then early on Monday through till the evening on Monday night. And by the time I get home, the replays will be done. So it's gonna be very difficult for me to recap on these uh these 24 hour lifetimes but oh well it is is what it is hopefully uh hopefully we get some good stuff in uh this christmas update but i'm gonna call it a night that'll do it for your wisdom from wiser just trying to help the bag that next tree start till then i'm out